Hey, what's going on? Chaz here. Let's, uh, let's talk about the boss of the real. So this right here is my 2021 Basso Diamante team bike built up with, as you can see, campy 12 speed EPS. Uh, this bike is a very fast bike. Uh, this bike is much different than the tarmac I've been riding. This is one of the first disc brake bikes that I've ever had. I've never had one before. They've always been rim brakes. So having a disc brake bike uh, was definitely a little bit of an adjustment for me. But overall, a lot of people have mixed feelings on disc brakes and things like that. I'm gonna be honest, I like it. Uh, the added stopping power is nice. Being able to know that you're gonna be able to stop on wet roads or in the rain is huge. Now, this bike in particular is uh, the Basso Diamante, which is kind of the flagship bike of Basso. It's something they've been working on for years and years and years. It's something they've really just been pumping out, cranking out left and right to consumers. Um, they recently came out with the SV, which is a more aero version of this Diamante, but uh, this is their flagship frame. We have it equipped with Campy. Uh, it's gonna be equipped with Campy 12 speed, super record electronic, so EPS. I actually do kind of enjoy the Campy. It's a little bit weird with the thumb button on it, but outside of that, you can actually program it via their app. So I actually set it up to where it shifts just like my SRAM 11 ETAP. So right side paddle goes up, left side paddle goes down. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the thumb shifters, but I actually use those for the front derailleur. So left thumb shifter goes little ring, right thumb shifter goes big ring. Um, I'm just not a fan because my hands just aren't the biggest <laughs> in the world. So sometimes reaching for that thumb is a little bit would be tough in the drops if I was using it as as Campy has originally set it up. So that's one thing about this bike that's interesting is the Campy. It's uh, it's very quick. I'm gonna be honest. When I jumped onto it compared to my SRAM, it was lightning quick, uh, way quicker. The cool thing about the rear derailleur is it actually overshifts slightly to really make sure that you get into the gear. Same thing when downshifting. It downshifts just ever so slightly. And then you, you can hear it overshift and then move into where it needs to be. It's really weird. It's like it goes past where it needs to be just ever so slightly, not enough to make it jump another gear, but just ever so slightly. And then it drops back into where it needs to be. And it's fantastic. The other thing I love about the Campy is the front derailleur um, trims as you move through the cassette. I'm pretty sure that happens with some other things, but my ETAP never did that. One cool thing about this is it does. That's really eliminated me dropping chains and whatnot. So that is something else that I love about the Campy. Let's talk about the frame overall. This uh, this Basso Diamante frame, uh, we'll be honest, it's not the lightest one out there. So I wanna say this bike completely built up with the electronical Campy, with the Campy Bora wheels, and uh, just the frame itself going to come out to around 17 pounds it's quite heavy actually um, it climbing wise it's it doesn't climb the most easiest like it doesn't feel nimble under you when you climb it does feel like you're kind of lugging around some weight but i will say on descents and on flat crits road races when you're moving at speed this thing just hums through the air it really just gets going. Um, it's very quite fast and stable. The the bottom bracket on this <laughs> this Diamante is a beast as well. It's a very very stiff bike. Um, the front fork on this thing is outrageously big. Again, it's very very stiff. I've noticed when I corner on downhills or even through crits, like there's a few crits where I sent it pretty hard through corners, and this thing just hugged to the road. Um, some other things about this. Diamante, we are equipped with the Bora WTO wheels. It's not the Ultra wheels, it's the, the regular Bora WTOs. So the only difference there is they aren't as light as the Ultras, but nevertheless, they are a very fast, stiff 
solid wheel set. Um, let's be honest, when you start getting into anything that costs more than two grand for a wheel set, you're pretty much getting a really solid wheel set. So I'm running those 60 mil is what came with this particular bike. On top of that, the tires that we're running are the new Continental um, TRs. They are, the, or the STR, my bad, the new Continental 5000 STRs. They are set up tubeless. Um, I actually really like them compared to the old Continental 5000s. They're a little bit more supple. Uh, they're a little bit softer. They still are bomb proof. Love the tires. Love the Continental sponsorship. Um, outside of that, I mean, that is, that's my, that's my boss. I mean, I got some, some MV 38 mil handlebars on there. But overall, I mean, when it comes to this bike, I do like it. I mean, let's be honest, anytime you're paying for a bike that's around 10 to $15,000, uh, it's gonna be good. So this Basso is actually a very good bike. You know, it catches a lot of beef because it is heavy and it doesn't climb as well as other bikes out there. But to be honest, this thing is just Italian craftsmanship at its finest. I mean, we got the Campy 12 speed, which Campagnolo, I mean, it's, it, that is Italian heritage to the T. This Basso, same thing. I mean, they're like right down the street from each other, right? So you know they're best friends. Um, so the Campy just looks amazing on this Basso bike, especially since this Basso, it's got, I mean, the Italian flair on it. You got the little, the flag up front on the front fork. Like, I mean, there's just everything about it that is just super cool. The paint itself, I'm not a huge fan of this color, but I'm gonna be honest, when it hits that light, it just right. It actually looks really cool. It's got like a hint of like almost bluish in it. When it hits that, it's that pearl, pearlness to it. A lot of people have actually really liked the paint job and have commented a lot on it. But yeah, I mean, overall, this is my team bike. And hey, I'm just excited that we get to race something of high quality. You know, some teams out there just get these kind of secondhand. Basso, there's a lot of heritage behind them. Um, again, with the Campy, there's a lot of heritage there. It's just overall, it's a very solid bike. Hey, if you're into the history and just having a sexy looking bike, yeah, I would go buy one. This is what I've been logging a lot of miles on lately. So, I know some guys have been wanting to see what this bike is all about. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, you know, keep training and riding hard. See you guys later.